guys, it's me, um, Sam, and you guys are going to watch me decorate my room for Valentine's Day, so, I'm just going to put my hair up, and Oliver's running around on the floor, and I will show you him. He's really happy today. I'm not really sure why, and he just went back under my bed, but anyways, so I'm decorating it all myself. So, um, here it is. The things that I'm going to be using are some curvy scissors, normal scissors, stapler, paper, crayons, and some creativity. Okay, so let's get started. I've cut out three hearts. One large, one medium, and one small. Okay, so I got them all lined out and I cut them with the crazy scissors. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, with the normal scissors, I'm going to use a scrap piece of paper and cut a long strip. Try and get it as even as possible. I cut two, just in case, and mine isn't as even as possible. I know it's not completely even, but it's as even, even as possible. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to staple the big one to the bottom. Staple. Then the medium, and now the smallest. But that's not all I'm going to do. I'm going to decorate them too. Trust me, you will love this idea for Valentine's Day. So this is what it looks like. Now. I know three things that I love. So, I'm going to put Oliver's name, Aiden's name, and Nova's name. And that's when the crayons or markers come in. So, I choose my favorite color. And I'm going to write down Nova on the smallest. There's Ollie. Here he is. So I got Nova. Now I'm going to do Avon in the medium one. And last, my special man, Oliver. But if you don't want to write names, you can write love, peace, heart, um, hope, whatever you want. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Looks really cute. And you're going to want it to be, have this little bit, because you're either going to tape it to the wall or, um, nail it or whatever you're wanting to do. So now we're just going to set this piece aside. Now I'm going to show you how I made those hearts. So I'm going to make one large one. Because it's for our next craft too. So I'm going to take these scissors. And I'm going to make a huge or whatever size. Um, half a heart. Just half. Not a whole one. Just half. Half a heart. Like that. And then it should look like this. A half of a heart. And then... Make sure it's folded in half. And then when you fold it out, there should be a large, large heart. And I use the crazy scissors just to give it a little extra spunk. So, yeah. So that's what that is. And now, 
When you need a hard surface, just get out of there. Come on. Sorry about that, guys. Going to get a hard surface. Like a book, or even if you're doing this on a craft table, that would work also. So I'm using this um, Starry River of the Sky book. Okay. Now it's on the flat surface. And now I'm going to use three different colors to write over on it. So this is what I did. I did it like this, and then the last one is purple, so I used the first purple, and then the middle is green, so I used the middle blue, and then, you know. What are you doing, dude? It's just really cute, and I love it. So we're going to set this one to side also. You can even... This is what I'm going to do to this heart. Okay. Lucky I did that last strip. So you're going to want to cut another strip. Take your stapler. And staple it in place. Wherever you're wanting it to be stapled is where you're going to staple it at. Which is pretty obvious. Now this is what it looks like. And I'll show you what to do with that later. Okay. Now this is a fun one. What you're going to do, you're going to have three sheets of paper. Well, I'm using two, but you can use whatever kind that you want. Now take a crayon or a marker and just color the whole thing. The whole entire page. Doesn't have to be really thoroughly, just color it. I can actually just color it. <laughs> just color in the whole entire thing. See, mine isn't very thoroughly and greatly colored, but you just want it to have color. So this is what it looks like. Now, I'm just going to fold it with the in, with the colored side in. Okay, make sure it's the colored side in. Now take it and make a, a heart again. Half a heart. So, okay, a big one. A very big one. Well, it doesn't have to be huge, but it's big enough. I just need mine really bad. There we go. Like that. Now, take... What are you doing, dude? Take another piece of paper and split it into two sides with a crane or whatever, and color it one side whatever color and one side another color. Make sure it's not the same color as you used on the large heart. Then I got my green side, and I'm going to color a blue side. look like this. Two different colors. 
Now fold it. And make a medium. And a small. So here's my medium. Here's my small. Ta-da. Now, stack them in the middle of the large heart. And staple. Right in the spine, I guess you could say. Boom. Now it's stapled in place. And now it's all ruffly and cute. Look how adorable. And they stick out too. Now, what you're going to do is do the same thing with a strip. Except this time I'm going to cut it into zigzaggy lines. It's a crazy scissors. Or you can do however zigzaggy or swirly or whatever kind of crazy scissors you have, you can use those. So, if you got crazy, crazy scissors, you can use crazy, crazy scissors. Just cutting, 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 cutting. And then staple it again. Then you just staple it in place. Ta -da. All done. Now we got our decoration is done. And I must say, you do get a little bit of a mess, but that's perfectly fine. I'm just going to throw away my scraps, or a few recycle. You can recycle your scraps. Now I'm just going to put everything away. And then what you're, all you're going to need is tape. And all of your things that you made. Okay, now what you're going to do is take a piece of the rod, because all of yours have it, should have it, or like a stem, sort of, and then fold it back, and then pull it back up. And you should have this kind of a look that's like this, and it should stay like that. And then good. You're going to want to have some tape on hand. Whatever color of tape you want. Clear is the best. Um, I just grabbed random tape that I have nearby. I just didn't really care what color of tape. If you want to get technical and pretty, you could get Valentine's duct tape, you know. Alright, so now you're going to need a ceiling, which I'm pretty sure everybody has a ceiling, so. Now, what you're going to do is take a piece of tape and put it on the stem where it's folded and attach it to the ceiling, and I need a stool. Okay. And attach it to your ceiling with the tape. Like so. Ta da! Now, this is what it looks like. And do the same exact things for all of the rest of your um, craft. So, we're going to go over here and do the same thing.
But this one I got right here. This one's special, so I'm going to put it right, right above Oliver's cage, which is right there. And Oliver's right there, <laughs> checking out the stool. Ta-da! How great is that? Okay, so now. It's time to pick up your mat. Right. All clean. And the craft looks amazing. Really amazing. And then you're all done. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Say bye bye, Oliver. Let's see if he hops on top of the stool. Nope. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye!